Well, hello. I'm going to try to show you uh, how to put together a resonant speaker for CW. This is the SkyTech speaker that was made back in the uh, 60s and 70s and um, no longer in business. But uh, it was very effective. And uh, let me give you a quick demonstration. I'm going to feed a tone into it. Okay. And that's about uh, 550 hertz. And this is adjustable. As you can see, you can pick it up. If you take it out, it's not very loud. And about there. It's maximum. So uh, I'm going to sweep the frequency. As you can see, we're going up here. This is about a thousand cycles. Pretty weak. Down to 400. That's pretty weak. So we're about 550. That's around my favorite frequency. All right. What is inside one of these? is another pipe and I don't know if you can see it or not but there is a speaker down there you can see down here in the bottom is kind of open and there's a little uh, oh, about an inch and a half speaker or so um, and the speaker is uh, on the bottom of a pipe in here it's about an inch and a half and um, some tape around there that's holding it but um, I had to di dissect this to find out what's in it. But if you look closely down in here, you can see there's a, uh, a hard plastic disc over it with a hole in it. Well, I took it apart, and so basically what you have is a disc like this, and a speaker, and the disc goes over the speaker, and it was glued on, sealed airtight, and then the speaker was sealed airtight onto to the bottom of the uh, tube inside. And then, of course, like I said, the back of the speaker is, must be exposed to air. And instead of just hanging out in the air, it needs to have a little bit of a baffle behind it, just an open baffle. So that's, that's what that is right there. It's just uh, some sound deadening material. And then, of course, there's air around all around here and he's got sound deadening material around that tube now to build one of these you need a speaker and here's a speaker and I, ha I have glued the uh, plastic lens we'll call it <laughs> over the uh, speaker soldered on two wires and um, this is a PVC coupling that I picked up at Lowe's I think it's inch and a half. I'm not sure. I forgot. I have got so much of this stuff from experimenting with it. It's not funny. And I found an O-ring, which makes it kind of neat, makes it easy to seal up. And so I just take this assembly and uh, let's put it on this side. Yeah, here we go. All right, there we go. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now it's sealed up pretty good there. Of course, what I what I did was slip another piece of pipe in here behind the speaker and glued it and that that holds it tight in there. It's got to be airtight. If you lose any air, you're going to lose volume. Okay. And then you take a uh, a piece of pipe and this is about four four and a half inches long and that will determine the uh, resonant frequency and you slide that in there and you make sure that's good and airtight okay then what you can do is put a little bead of hot glue or something around here instead of PVC glue that way if you need to you can get it apart and then I took an elbow stick it on here and all this stuff 
comes out to pretty close to the same frequency as what we were hearing. Uh, I'll hook it up as the speaker tries to fall out of the bottom. Let's see here. I'm using a uh, audio generator up here. Now I'm going to sweep down here. That's about uh, 540 or so. Hope you can hear that. And go up. As you can see, it gets much weaker. There's about uh, 350. There's your peak. Now watch as we take it apart. We'll take the uh, we'll take the gooseneck off here. Weaker. Take off the uh, piece of pipe. Still weaker. And we're left with the speaker still running. A little hard to hear. How about just a bare speaker? We'll hook this up. There you go. Doesn't sound too good. <laughs> so that's basically what you need. Um, there's hundreds of ways that you could arrange it. I think the SkyTech method is, is very good. And it, um, it seems to be about the most efficient way to do it. And it, it, uh, it looks good sitting on your desk. Uh, what I did was use a 180 degree elbow. Kind of looks like a, an old telephone receiver. Put the speaker in one end and uh, you get a little audio out this out the bottom. You get a, actually quite a bit from the, the one I just built. So you really you should have it arranged so you can hear both and that's why I used a, a piece of uh, pipe 180 degrees. Well, that's about it. Um, hope you uh, enjoyed it.